Today, I want to share a few thoughts around something that I believe to be extremely important. In philosophy, they have this notion of first principles. This is this idea that before everything else, there are some primary, very primary tenets, ideas, principles that influence everything else. And today I want to talk about one of those. If you are like me, either now or at some point in your life, uh, maybe you've wanted uh, uh, a more positive relationship, a personal relationship in your life. Maybe you've wanted that. Maybe you wanted to get a, um, a promotion at work. Okay, make a change in that regard. Or maybe you wanted to lose some weight. Or maybe you wanted to uh, do something artistic, express something, uh, either do some sculpting or some writing. Maybe you wanted to uh, work on being more authentic as a person. All of these goals and all this notion of becoming more empowered, in a way, none of it matters, okay? You could tomorrow cross paths with somebody, a fellow human being, a man, a woman, whatever, and finally cross paths with the love of your life. Somebody who is a kindred spirit and you have this, you know, it's gonna click with you, right? Could, amazing, amazing thing, enormous good fortune. You could get a promotion at work. You could artistically create something and it was amazing and maybe you get discovered in some sense in an industry and you have an amazing breakthrough both professionally and personally, creatively. All those things could happen, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, in less of one thing. Now you might think always, probably thinking of your health and how important your psychological, emotional, physical health is and how in many ways it has the final say in your life. And it's true, but I'm talking about something even more primary, okay? If you've been battling a health issue, for many years and all of a sudden there's a cure for it okay it doesn't matter without this one piece and this piece is about your availability to receive your availability to even be aware of the good fortune so I want to ask you today and this is really serious okay how available are you how available are you for everything, okay? How available are you for your kids? How available are you for your work? How available are you for exercising, for creating? For And this isn't just about receiving. Receiving is a perspective, and I think it's an important one. It certainly resonates with me to see myself as a recipient, as someone who's been given, given, not necessarily earned or deserved, given a lot of stuff. But I wanna ask you, because I find in this culture right now, with so many people on the phones and so many people on the screens and so many people doing this and juggling that and worrying about this, where are you? Where are you in your life? Are you even available? Because you know, if you're not available, you can win the lottery and you don't even know it. You can be with the love of your life and you don't even know it. You're not available for it, okay? So I need to ask you first, you know, how available are you? And second, if you would like to be more available, my question to you, and I'd love as always some comments is, how can you and I become more available? Because I bet in my life, I can't say in your, in my life, I am, I'll say almost certain that there are some great things going on in my life that I'm not even available to appreciate to see, to experience, to avail myself of. So how available are you? So often we get caught up in anxieties. We get caught up in regrets about stuff that came before. We get caught up in worries about tomorrow, right? And about next month and about next year. And even today we've got 47 things we're trying to do, 32 things, 18 things. All of that means we're not available, okay? All of it means, you might go, well, I've got so much to do and multitasking is awesome. Is it? My experience of multitasking, and I do a bunch of it, for better or worse, is if you're able to be fully present and available while you do this, and then do this, and then do this, great. 
but typically, you know, yeah, I mean, when's the last time you accuse somebody of not multitasking enough? This is similar for sure to talking about how present are you in the moment, but I don't think it's quite the same. I don't think it's quite the same. And you know, so often if you're like me as a searcher, as someone trying to educate yourself, you know, you can find out that two things that seem kind of different are actually, and this is very common, two different perspectives of the inherent same thing. And for me, my work, my search has been to find these perspectives to find the framings, to find the way of putting things, the way of thinking about, the way of relating to something that inspires the richest insight, the richest understanding for me that it can on that day. So, well, if you're like me, sometimes even though I'm very interested in talking about exploring notions of being present, sometimes it doesn't have the teeth I wish it, wish it were, it doesn't ironically engage me as much. So recently, I've really been thinking about availability and people I know who seem overwhelmed uh, by everything they're trying to do and accomplish and make and create and achieve and on and on and on. And how tragic would that be? How tragic is that? That we work so hard to achieve some things and even as they draw closer to us or even as we are gifted with this and gifted with that and gifted with another this that we're not even fully available. So I really do think it's something I want to continue to think about and work on myself. That there's something really primary about that that's really important, whether it's a skill or a relationship or perspective. And this notion of, you know, the richness, if we can increase our availability for things, the things that are in our lives. What an incredible thing to do for ourselves and the people in our lives to become more available to appreciate, to honor, to acknowledge, to receive all these things around us. So as you go through your day, I encourage you to ask yourself, you know, almost as kind of a mantra, you know, how available 